Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of uh, interesting questions that I have added to the DevTools Tech platform. These questions uh, were asked in top product company interviews for you know all levels SD1, SD2, and above. So I thought uh, that this would be these would be good questions for you to practice. Some questions could be machine coding round, and some questions could be take home assignments. So uh, without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first question here is cloning a Trello board. So in this question, we have to create a Trello board like UI. It is often asked as a take home assignment uh, and sometimes a simplified version as a machine coding rounds and lot of good product companies across the world. Uh, I've shared, you know, a bare bone uh, mock up you so you can use this as a frame of reference to develop your uh, application. So some of the requirements are that we need to, you know, build a Trello board like UI. You, we have, you know, different, uh, you know, buckets, card buckets, different stages you might call ideas in progress, testing, done, and so on. Uh, we have a button to show menu and different tags. We can add a list and filtering. So this is the, you know, journal overview of the Trello, bo Trello board. Like I mentioned, inside the board we have subparts like card buckets, different buckets. We can add cards to each bucket, you know, different uh, inside each card, uh, inside each bucket we have different cards, we can drag and drop these cards, we can change the order. When as I shown that we have this show menu button that when you click on this show menu button then a menu side menu should open where we have list of people who have access to this board, uh, invite users button change background and filter cards we'll talk about the functionality and we'll also see a exhaustive demo in a short while so when we click on the change background then these colors should open and clicking on any of the color should change the background of the trello board then we have card filtering that if we click on the filter cards then a simple form should open and as we type our cards in the background should filter so right now i've uh, typed uh, so this is filled with feedback keyboard so only in this section we have feedback so we are showing that then we have invite that if we click on invite then this form should open and uh, you can type the email and some message and send an invitation so as of now this is a purely front-end task so that's why i'm not included any backend apis you can mock all the apis some of the board functionalities are that list the members of the members who have access to the board invitation like we talked about updating the background color filtering cards header and of of course the trello boards core functionality of drag and drop the cards and buckets itself so now it comes to how would you you know implement this so what you can do is that you can start a timer you can start the timer here and start implementation one so you can you know use this faq section to which that will help you in terms of how to use this ied all your questions would be answered here all the links of the questions would be mentioned in the comments so that you can you know go and you know start attempting them right away if you go to this file section you have entire you know file management solution here plus dependencies so in my solution right now i'm using two packet prop types for checks and react to beautiful dnd drag and drop i'm using this package you can you know type any package maybe a moment or anything uh, there would be a list you can select that package and it would be installed so and you can right away use that package so in in my solution i have you know structured my code that i have created different components board component list component task all the components i've created if I go to home, then I have the entire code here. I have shared components where composer or banner. So this is the solution which I came up, uh, you know, just for the demo. And uh, you have styles, different styles, board CSS, and this is the CSS which I have written. So you can do the same, structure the code in whichever way you like. Try to, you know, create a starter timer and try to emulate the real world scenario and try to finish within a particular time span. So now comes the demo part, the demo of the all the you know UI components and all the requirements we talked about. So we can you know add a new card, 
in this building Trello. So you have to implement these functionality, adding a new card. We can, you know, drag and drop cards or we can, you know, drag and drop lists or we can add a new list. Let's say test the or QA. This is a new list. We can inside this list, we can add another some te test card we can you know drag and drop these cards to some play we can drag and drop here or we can you know show the menu if we click on this then there this is the menu if we invite users then we can you know send the message there would be just we are mocking right now so we are showing bus just an alert box if we click on change background then list of colors we can click on the any color and the background will change plus uh, filtering card like we talked about so if i try dev tools then all the cards that contain dev tools will you know would show up and filtering would happen i'll remove this plus uh, you know if you click on the invite button the same uh, form should open as a modal here the same functionality type the email type a message and send notification so this is like a bare, you know, a very minimal and simple version of a Trello board, you know, so just to give you a head start and just to give you a frame of reference, use this to build as many features as you like, maybe different tags or maybe actually integrating with the APIs or before this, you can add a step where user can select different type of boards. Uh, you know completion or you can inside this menu, you can add a lot of functionalities. So it's up to you. So this question slick would be in the comments. Uh, start implementing, you know, take screenshot of your solutions or complete your solutions. Try to set a timer, maybe one hour or maybe half an hour and try to complete your solution within that time frame and share that solution on LinkedIn and Twitter, tag me, tag the DevTools stack platform. So in this question, uh, we have to implement a function uh, to read a field inside a nested object. Again, this question I have seen being asked by a couple of companies uh, in the you know product space. So it's a good question, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, in this question, you have to implement a function. Uh, in this case, the name of the function is read. That takes two parameters, collection and property. Collection is basically an object and property is a path. Uh, so like we have seen in this example that we have a nested object inside collection we have a then b c d e so what would happen is that we will pass this collection to the read object and we will pass a path maybe a dot b dot c dot e and the, this read function should return to in case that property nested property doesn't exist then it should return undefined as simple as that you can use this uh, you can write this code in or you can implement this function uh, using recursion or you can use some higher order function that's up to you uh, i have provided test cases so once you you know write your code and run this then it will show you that uh, different there are six or seven i think five six seven test cases and if it fails then it will show you uh, what is the expected output and what was the test case input so the next question is a pretty interesting one and it is a bit complex. So in this question, we have to, you know, try to create our own DOM, uh, basically a DOM like tree structure. What would happen here is that the interviewer might give you a code snippet like this, where we have, you know, we create, we have document in our, uh, uh, like in our browsers, we have to create a V document. Uh, and inside this document, it should expose uh, methods like create element or append child. So basically, you have to create a document. Uh, using that document, you have to create different uh, elements. In this case, we create a body and a div. Uh, inside that body, we set some uh, HTML. And in we, you know, append that div to our body and we append that body to our uh, document. And once the interviewer calls vdocument.render, then it should return a proper HTML structure. So in this case, this should be the output that HTML body and inside that body we appended a div and inside that div we have the uh, 
this uh, inner HTML or inner text, whatever you want to call, but inner HTML in this particular question, and we should the output should be formatted in this particular manner only. Uh, you can you know use tabs or spaces for indentation. Uh, however, we have provided test cases, and the test cases check for four spaces per tag level. That means zero spaces, four spaces, eight spaces, and so on. So this is a good question because it we are creating a new instance of a new clause which is we document so it checks you on oops we you know this question checks inheritance recursion problem solving skills and understanding of dom you cannot you know when we call we document or create element inside that you cannot use existing dom apis you have to recreate you have to implement those uh, from scratch as always you can use the faq sections to for anything uh, the any question you might have how to use this id how to print something on the right output panel about test cases so this will answer all your queries plus uh, you can go to the author's remarks to check my solution you can start the timer here implement your solution you can run your code uh, and i'll show you one thing which a lot of people are so if you use console.print this is a custom utility and you say one and you run your code then you will see the output in the right panel and if you run the test cases button here then there are multiple test cases and right now it's not passing so it will say that this is what the test case and this is the expected output if your uh, solution passes all the test cases you will see here so this brings end to our video i hope these uh, these questions would be some help to you uh, I'll keep on adding questions to the DevTools tech platform. If you, you know, solve the questions shared in the platform, then you would be able to crack most of the top interviews in the, uh, you know, Indian space or worldwide. And uh, if you have any questions, any queries, if you want to see certain type of questions or certain functionality in the platform, then definitely reach out to me, uh, share your feedback so that we can improve the platform. You can, you know, use it to solve questions here. You can, uh, you know, watch the resources I've shared. You can watch those resources. You can have some, you know, videos also here. You can watch these videos and this would definitely help you prepare better for your next job interview. So till next time, see you, take care, bye-bye.